Good morning. Good morning. It's another Monday morning. Happy Labor Day. Happy Labor Day to all of you. It is um, great to be here um, this Labor Day weekend. Um, it has been uh, a very interesting, <laughs> a very interesting uh, weekend, a very, very interesting week. Good morning, Robin and Erin and uh, Maggie. It's great to see you all. Um, wow. Um, I love that um, all of this is, <laughs> oh my good, goodness, it is Monday. Yeah, I love that all of this is coming um, up. There's so many pictures I was seeing as I was just sitting here. Because, of course, um, if you've watched me at all, you know that I'm like, okay, what am I going to talk about? What's coming up? What What is this all about? And it's just been really interesting because it seems like it would be really obvious. I live in South Florida. Let's talk about the hurricane. And as I was sitting here, um, just kind of like looking at what was being shown to me, it was like, oh, well, sort of about, about the hurricane. But the... The word I kept seeing was scare, scare, scare. What scares us most? What scares us most? And that's kind of the thing that that this whole week has um, a, a, um, a theme going through the week, right? Is this um, piece about what scares us most and how does it show up? Uh, it is great to, to see you, Catherine and Jackie and Gretchen. It is great. It's it's great to have electricity and to see um, to see everyone. Uh, we are waiting for the storm. Just to give you that quick update, all of us in South Florida are kind of waiting for the storm. What is going to happen? It's kind of like for us that two o'clock hour is going to tell us whether um, the storm is going to turn north, which is exactly what um, all of our local news is saying. But it's kind of this holding pattern, and that's um, what all of us tend to get into. And what I'm being shown now is kind of that um, rut that we get into, right? We get into this, this rut in this place where we're just kind of like, all right, we're just kind of hanging out, hanging out. There's nothing for us to do. It's just a game of, wait, let's keep ourselves busy. Let's do some things, you know. Um, in the real world, the way it shows up is like, let's do some housework, let's do some laundry, let's do some cooking. Oh, wow, there's all those things I can catch up on that I haven't had um, time to do in a while. Let me go do those things because I'm sitting in a holding pattern and I'm waiting for what the next thing is going to be, how that's going to show up. So we have had an absolutely crazy week since last Monday. Uh, we had the new moon come in on Friday, Friday morning. And that's the, the other place where this, um, what scares you can show up, right? That the new moon, when the new moon came in, it was an incredible, um, powerfully uh, directed moon. There was a lot of healing that was available, and it was stuff that was around um, clarity and around love and around worthiness. And as I was sitting here looking at that new moon energy and how it showed up for people, it was things that can be just a little bit scary, right? Sometimes clarity, believe it or not, is a little scary. I don't know if I want to see that. I don't want if I I don't know if I really want to know what that is. If I look at that situation with too much clarity, maybe I'm going to have to act on it. Maybe there's something I'm going to have to do and I don't know that I want that clarity. I don't know that I want to see that. And of course there's always the peace on being able to see we all have, I'll speak for me, how about that, um, this idea of, I don't know if I really want to see that energetically. I don't know if I really want to be aware of that. And that's 
the piece that shows up also around this new moon and the clarity that comes in. Do I really want to see my life with clarity? Do I really want to understand what that is? So good morning, um, Michelle and Susan and Jade. It's great to see you and Echo. It's always good to see you. It is um, a really interesting day today because, of course, we're in the we're in the waiting zone. We're kind of hanging out, waiting to see what is going to happen. But the teachings just keep coming, right? The teachings don't care whether a hurricane is going to turn or not. They're just always available. What's next? What's next? What am I, what am I doing next? So the new moon was an opportunity for us to, to look again at what scares us, what really makes us go, <gasps> Oh my God, I am going to just fear, 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 right? I'm going to put up protection. I'm going to put up things that are going to keep me safe. And it is certainly not to say that we shouldn't do things to keep us safe, right? But it's how much fear are we putting out into the field? How much fear are we putting out in an attempt to kind of protect ourselves, right? To keep us safe. We have, um, as a culture, as a humanity, spent millions of years putting up protection, bringing in forms of protection, because we have been on this really low frequency planet. Pain, fear, anger, rules has all has ruled the world for a very long time, and we're in this transition time period. Right, we're transitioning out of being in those low frequencies and moving into high frequent, higher frequencies. But in the process, our bodies are still used to being in these low frequencies, right? We still go into, oh my gosh, I need to protect myself. I need to put up some sort of protection. And sometimes we bring in unconsciousness and sometimes we bring in fear. And it's like, I got to protect, protect, protect myself, protect myself. If you lived in South Florida or if you visited South Florida in the last few days, you can see that everywhere. You walk into, I walked into Home Depot, I think it was on Friday, and it was just like, oh my God, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my God, we got to get protected, we got to get protected. And not that we don't have to take care of ourselves, right? Not that we don't have to do things to keep ourselves safe. But we don't have to create fear in the process. We can just go, oh, okay, I'm going to go get wood. I need to get wood. I'm going to go get propane. I'm going to go get this. I'm going to go get that, right? It's just whatever we need to do. And if you don't live in South Florida and you can't relate to the analogy of the hurricane, there is always something else for us to look at how we want to um, step into whatever is happening. So If we have a relationship going bad, right, we can like run away, we can put up all sorts of protection to keep us safe. But what we can also do is just go, you know what, this is what's coming up for me next. This is what I need to do next. This is how I need to handle this next. And we can ask for the healing, we can receive the healing, and then we can step into whatever is next. Um, good morning, Ava and Eva and Joan and and um, Jennifer. It is great to see you guys. It's such an interesting, fun day. You know, we can take that attitude. It's a really fun day of looking at what's going to pop up for us next. Um, I was talking about the new moon and the clarity that has come in and how sometimes clarity can be really scary for us. Sometimes we don't want to look at what is happening. We don't want to pay attention to the signs and what's coming up. And, oh, my gosh, I know that I need to do this next, but I'm not sure that I actually want to step into that and do that next. So that can be a, that can be a big thing for us, right, having the clarity. The other thing that came in on Friday, which might be a big one for people, is worthiness, worthiness, that I'm worthy of whatever comes my way, that that beautifully 
good thing that is coming my way, that that you know, shift or change that is happening is good for me, is okay for me. And that's a really um, cool one. I have always said that I am, um, I was the, the queen of unworthiness. I would, I would get, <laughs> makes me laugh. I would be like, how come I don't have that pain and fear that everybody else is having? What's wrong with me that I don't have that issue going on? That always makes me laugh. And I'm sure there's a few of you that will remember me saying that, like, I'm, I think there's a problem. I have a problem. I am feeling really unworthy because I am not having the pain and fear that this person is having. But where do you show up where you're not sure that that you're enough? You know, oh, this must be what happens to you when when you don't do this right or you don't do that right or you're mean to your mom or you say something nasty to your kids, right? Where does that show up in? <laughs> where does that show up in your life? Um, this this new moon that we just had on Friday was a big, big opportunity for us to move more of that out, that um, place where we're like, there must be something wrong with me. I, I have issues. <laughs> and the truth is that we all have issues. We all have things going on. And I guess that's what I really love about this week, um, this last few days since uh, Thursday, Friday, the, um, the opportunity for us to see what's popping up for you, what's, what's triggering you, right? When you are laying in bed and you're going, okay, what do I have to do today? What's triggering you? What's, what's the thing that you're starting to go, got to get that done, got to get that done, got to, oh my gosh. And you start working whatever that issue is, right? That's the thing that has been has been popping up for for me. Like, oh, look at that thing that's there for me again. Look at that place where I'm like, I'm really getting worked up over this situation. I'm really getting worked up over um, my thing is the the um, the news, right? Watching the news. The news just makes me a little crazy. So. It's like, where can we see what pops up for us and where can we go? Oh, let's move more of that. Let's get rid of that. Let's have a, let's have a healing on that. Liz, I love that you say that you got a, um, a big healing. Uh, you realized a big healing that you, that you need. And it's awesome when we get, wow, this is a serious trigger for me. So big opportunities for us to heal what scares us most. Um, I, I had the opportunity to get some information this morning, and I love this um, simple list here about when things happen to us, when we have a situation show up that really makes us crazy, whether it's the new moon, right? There's a lot of us that have big reactions in our bodies. Our bodies go kind of crazy with with the new moon energies with that. So maybe it's, you know, I'm having heart palpitations or my throat is really bothering me or big headaches, right? There's been really big headaches um, with the new moon. And there's been a lot of stomach issues with the new moon. When those things show up, it's like, oh, this is an opportunity to learn. It's an opportunity to heal. And it's a great opportunity for us to have some compassion some compassion for ourselves, have some compassion for what um, other people are going through, have some compassion for how we are showing up for ourselves, right? Can we do that? Can we have some more compassion? And it's one of the things that I asked for this morning for, um, for all of us is to have more compassion. And I'm sure those of you who um, may be thinking, oh, yeah, we need more compassion for, for um, the Bahamas. Absolutely, more compassion for the Bahamas. And we're going to send more compassion there. But we also want to have more compassion for ourselves and give ourselves a little bit of a break. <laughs> give ourselves a break. And remember that it's like 
we don't have to be so hard on ourselves. We don't have to be so stressed. We don't have to like be the one that beats ourselves up. We absolutely don't have to do that. So more compassion for ourselves. If you didn't do what you needed to do this weekend, that's okay. That's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We're okay. Um, the next thing that came in for me was um, the reminder for us to respond to today's events. Today's events. And this one was so very cool for me because as I have been um, going to stores and, and walking around the community, I realized that energetically there's a lot of people who are running the um, movies and the programs from either a situation that they've been in before, like around here, there's people who are busy going, well, the last hurricane, and I remember when Andrew came through, and I remember when this, and I remember when that. And, um, and that's great to look back at a situation and say, well, this is what I learned from it, and this is what I'm going to carry forward. I didn't have enough um, batteries on hand that time, so I'm going to make sure I buy more batteries. But we want to remember that when we look back at a situation, that we look at the situation for what we need to learn from it, and we don't bring any of the fear forward, right? We leave all that fear and, and panic and anger and worry and whatever else was there, that we leave it in the past. And we're just looking for what do we need to bring forward? Oh, I need to remember to get more batteries. Oh, I need to remember to get the bike pump. Whatever it happens to be, we want to do that thing instead. Leave all the, the emotion and the low frequencies back there because they can absolutely stay back there um, and bring the lesson forward. And stay right here in today. Let's stay in today. Let's respond to today's events. If somebody um, bursts through our front door shouting, screaming, um, and yelling, I want to be in today's moment. I want to pay attention to right now. What am I doing today? How do I need to respond? I don't want to go into, oh my gosh, the last time somebody burst through my house. Right? I want to stay in today's, today's events. How can I handle what needs to go right now? That's how we can stay calm together, make sure everything we respond to is present, present, present. I love that we have an opportunity to be very present with what's showing up. Now, if I go back there and I pull something from the past, I have been known to do that, and I pull it forward, I want to ask for a healing. I want to ask for help. I want to go, all right, I can feel that I'm getting really nervous. I'm getting really panicked. You know, the wind is picking up. I don't know. This feels like what it did before. I'm going to ask for help. Can I please have some help with that? Sometimes that's texting a friend. Sometimes it's texting me, sending me a message. Sometimes it's just going, I'm okay. I'm okay. Let me remind myself. Let me remind my body that I'm okay. Isn't that, that's like really easy. The more you practice it, the more you start to get it. But we want to respond to today's events, not, not what's going on in the past. And we always want to stay out of the fear. And we want to stay out of the judgment. Here's an interesting thing that popped up for me um, this morning. I'm not even sure exactly where this came from. But it was this um, picture of looking at people who look at a situation that happens and say, say something like, they deserve that. They deserve what happened to them. If they didn't prepare, then they deserve what happened. If um, they behaved a certain way, then they deserved what happened to them. And it was interesting because the way it first showed up to me was how people responded um, to people who became HIV positive. And now I'm going back, you know, as I just got finished telling you, don't go back in the past. I'm going back into the, into the 80s and 90s. And there were 
people, as um, others found out that they were HIV positive, that they really started to say, that's something, that's the wrath of God, they deserve that, there's something you know, going on there, there's a reason why that is happening to them. And that analogy that I was given this morning is, um, is the same as anything else that has happened since then that somehow there is the wrath of God or that somebody deserves um, something to happen to them because of something they've said or something they've done. And we can talk about this on a, on a small scale, right? Maybe you just feel like your friend really deserved to get into a car accident because they had just said something really nasty to you and you're like, yeah, they do. But we can also talk about it on a big scale, like people who have um, HIV or people who are diagnosed with something else or people that have an event happen to them in nature. There is no such thing as the wrath of God. There is no such thing as punishment. It does not exist, and it doesn't matter which um, which example you're going to give me or which situation is out there. It just doesn't exist. It's hard sometimes for us to imagine that we actually have agreements set up for us to have these experiences, to have these diseases and, and conditions and situations happen to us, but we absolutely do. We absolutely agree to all of these things prior to us coming into this lifetime. And it's not God who's out there going, oh, you were bad, you didn't do this, or you didn't prepare this way, or you um, didn't handle the situation, so I'm going to give you a punishment. There is absolutely none of that. And this morning, my husband David was reminding me the. Um, the movie um, Bruce Almighty, where Bruce um, becomes God, and he's the one who's going through all the emails, and he's responding to everything people ask for, and he's like, absolutely, you can win the lottery, you can win the lottery, you can win the lottery, you can win the lottery. There isn't any of that. It, it, that's not how the situation is set up. It's not how things happen. It's Things happen for each one of us individually so that we can have the experience. Each person has a different experience with the hurricane. Each person has a different experience with, you know, the wildfires or whatever, you know, whatever natural catastrophe we are talking about. It's an individual um, situation. Everybody has their own agreement set up. And what we want to be able to do is just be able to keep putting out love, to put out love into the field, put out love into the world so that we can heal the judgment. We can resolve the ideas that um, are created in fear, that are created in pain, that are created in anger. It's an amazing opportunity for us to just keep, um, <laughs> I'm just laughing. My son is over here and he's making coffee and he's doing things and he's trying really hard to be quiet and it's just like, wow, it's crazy today. But this is another opportunity. What, how do we respond? How do we act? How do we handle things? How do we manage things? What do we do when it looks like the, the best answer is flipping out? And the answer is, let's just pause and, and wait a minute and know that that situation is going to pass, and then there's like, okay, now I can move on. Now I can go, what's, what's next? How am I going to show up next? This judgment that we have, we want to move more of the judgment, more of the, if only they had prepared better. If only, you know, they had, had thought about the situation more. We're moving more judgment, moving more judgment out. It's an awesome opportunity for us to do more of that. So the, the teachings this week, the opportunities for us to heal, have been absolutely incredible. 
such a great um, opportunity. And if we're willing to go, let me just sit for a second. What is this about? How is this showing up? Why is this showing up? What am I supposed to do next? <laughs> How am I supposed to respond next? Why am I in this? Why am I sitting in this spot? So here's the other thing is what shows up for me is this a sitting watching a movie. Watching a movie. We're just sitting watching a movie. Let's watch the movie that is happening, the situation that's happening, whatever is coming up. Good morning, Jill and, and um, JR and um, Molly and Sarah. Um, I always need at least one person to pop in and say good morning, Ma, to me. Um, it is, we're talking about what scares us most and the things that have showed up this week that are an opportunity for us to to look at what scares us. <laughs> is it something in the dark? Is it something um, that you see really clearly? Perhaps it's a relationship. Perhaps it's yourself that is really scary. Like, am I going to be able to respond to this situation? Am I going to be able to um, be kind in this situation? What's next for um, me to do? What's next for me to show up for? So it's, um, it's really interesting, isn't it, to just be like, okay, what's next? So for everybody else who is not in, the, in Florida, who is not up the coast um, of the eastern United States, what is showing up for you guys? What's there for you to say, I don't need any more of this? I can move more of this. I can, I can let this go. I can let this be. I don't have to do anything with it. I can just let it sit there. I don't have to keep, you know, working it and moving it and, and um, worrying it, right? I can just let it go. We all have those things that um, show up for us that are an opportunity for us to go, you know, I don't need any more of that. I'm all good with that. I can put that aside now, and I don't need that. <sighs> crazy, crazy. I'm, I'm just looking at the, the energy of the people who have shown up today, and I'm seeing these, um, I, I'm seeing a, several people that have their fingers in the dike. That's what I'm being shown, is the fingers in the dike, which is like, um, <laughs> I can't tell who is who, but it's just really funny because somebody has their toe in the in the dike. It's like I've got a lot of holes that I'm trying to block, and they have it. It's like their toe is lifted up and stuck in the hole as well. And so there are a lot of us that are um, are in fear, right? There's something going on. This. This dam is going to break. I'm not going to be able to manage this. I'm not going to be able to handle this. I, have, I don't have enough fingers. I don't have enough toes to block all of this out. So this is a great opportunity for us to go, okay, I'm going to trust that it's all going to work out fine. I'm going to trust that it's going to happen exactly as it's supposed to. I'm going to trust that Whatever shows up, I'm going to be here in today, and I'm going to operate from today. Okay, I'm going to take my finger out here, and I'm going to pick up some mud, and I'm going to put it in the hole, and I'm going to trust that that is going to stay. And then I'm just going to go, okay, it's all good. And then I'm going to do it again, pick up some more mud, pick up something more, and plug that hole up and handle that issue. And I'm going to trust that if I operate from today, it's where I am working best. It's where I am working from a place of power, a place of clarity, a place of worthiness, and definitely, definitely a place of love. I really want to thank you all for, for popping in on this Labor Day. For those of you who are in fabulous weather places, enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Labor Day is a really 
fun time for barbecues and things like that to be with friends to be with family it's an awesome opportunity for those of you that are in florida i um, love you guys and i wish you all the best given in love love love